Hi everyone, Shirtlight here, and I'm here with another gameplay video. I almost missed the release window on this one, because I usually do one every five videos, and you know, lo and behold, I did like seven, so you know, technically you could count some of them as short, so by some definition, I you know, I got it just right, but you know, it's uh. In this case, it's in the eye of the beholder. Anyways, this it is this Diogo. This weird yellow cylindrical thing from MSA Glue. It's a uh, it's a hunk of junk, basically made to be a moving thing that yeah that carries a lot of weapons and it's cheap to make. And yeah, that's uh, arguably it. Is basically Zion's version of the ball. So, um, the weapons it, that it has, well, it has the 120mm Zaku machine gun, the 280mm Zaku bazooka, it has the anti ship rocket pods, and the thing also a stern force, which disappears from the side when it's empty giving you a neat little visual indicator of whether it's reloading or not and uh, yeah as a melee attack it just waves around the cannon from the ball so yeah that's, that's pretty close to the enemy which you know is really cool and uh, yeah even though I'm running this one on uh, ground it has the flight gimmick just like the Xeon which is quite quite a rare gimmick amongst the space only mobile suits. I think only the Xeong and Diago have the flight mode uh, of the you know, out of the space only stuff. And there's Big Row, though Big Row is a mobile armor so that one don't count. And yeah, um, I've picked a three member team for this mission and I'm also running another one so that at the very least, you know, I'm kind of making up for the fact that I delayed this video a lot. Though arguably, you know, I have my reasons. Since, uh, you know, there's there's video projects that need to be done. The, the Eshmar guide, which you know, I'm working on that, but I still need to get the... Whatchamacallit... Yeah, the the intros get done. I I got the I have finished the script though, so that should be done shortly. Maybe next week, maybe the one after that, depending on how fast I am. Then we got some overlay bar stuff and yeah, related uh, related stuff. So yeah, and uh, also. Another thing to note, there's gonna be a stream of the Bottoms game for the PS2 on on this Sunday, in fact. So, yeah, if you want, then, you know, come tag along, tune in. And it's probably gonna start at the regular time, just in case you wanna know. And yeah, this, I'll go despite the fact that it's not really built for <laughs> the environment that I'm running it in. It's uh, it's doing quite well. Yeah, if I haven't mentioned it already, the free member team that I'm currently running is composed of Yazan Gable from Zeta, Uso Evan from Victory, and uh, Zabin Charu from uh, Crossbone. Yeah, yeah, it's from Crossbone, but he's also in F91. All right, so first mission clear. All I had to do was to. You know, make short work of the Gundam. And now we're moving into 0083. And to show off a very neat gimmick. <laughs> which I really want to show. So this is the stage that's set in... Not sure if it's the car specifically, but... It's somewhere in the Africa. This... In the Stardust Memory anime, this would be the episode with Noyan Bitter and his Kimberlite Corps, kind of defending the HLV, where Gato is preparing to leave for space. And oh look, 
you know, the Diogo is fully compatible with the subflight systems, just like the ball. And you know what that means? That means you can shove it into the Mega Rider without any consequences whatsoever. And yeah, I'm, uh, I got Nick Orville, that little traitor, for that sand dune, because I'm not sure if Burstliner can do it, I think it can, but the Mega Rider can uh, use its beam through walls, and that's, that's really neat. Though, in this mission there's two main targets, that's uh, Captain Synapse's uh, Albion, which I'm currently working on, and uh, I think Coast uh, GPO on uh, Zephyrantes, right? Of course, we're getting the gym C tabs. For some reason, they ain't hovering on sand, which is weird. Because, funnily enough, this one should be hovering on sand. Not in the cannon, but in this game. Because they, uh, I think they started that thing with the Desert Zaku, and yep, I thought I couldn't get it with the rotation, so I just went and hopped off, so that I could get a decent shot, and I did. But obviously, you know, if you're you know, gonna try and make your way through the... <laughs> through these, uh, I'd say, high gravity, comparably, environments you're basically screwed if you think that you can get anywhere with stuff like Ogos and Grassies at a reasonable pace so you know sublight systems do really indeed help yeah we got like on the first map we got Alpha A8 which is by the way one of the few one of the few characters in the GGN games that to flip the bird on their sprites, which is funny. And of course we're gonna get Ko Uraki and uh, finish the stage. Yeah! We also got Chuck... Uh, no, not Chuck Sneed, Chuck Keith on the previous one. Anyways, this should be it for the two Ogo segments and this is Shirtlet, signing out.